Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 2nd of December. It's been a cold, rainy night. Complex storm moving through today. Much colder air. Tomorrow and Friday, maybe a few snowflakes. Maybe. Friday night, Saturday morning. We'll see. Let's take a look at the images this morning. And yeah, it's wet. Here's our Tuscaloosa camera looking back over toward uh, First Baptist Church from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Many spots received over one inch of rain so far. My total here in uh, North Shelby County as I look at the rain bucket is 1.14 since it all started last night. There's a look at Chilton County's Sky Cam, downtown Clanton. And from Inverness, not too many folks out on Highway 280 at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. Boy, what a storm. Classic uh, wrapped up system, upper load that's over Texas, surface load developing in the Gulf, and a lot of convection going on on the east side. Here's a look at the surface pattern, and the surface low seems to be inland over Louisiana and deepening pretty rapidly. It looks like it is now under 1,000 millibars, and that surface low will move from near Baton Rouge up to Huntsville uh, during the course of the day today. The best pressure gradient is over on the eastern side of Alabama, where it's uh, pretty breezy. There's a south wind there and over uh, the western part of Georgia. Now, in terms of severe weather, we have a tornado watch up until 10 o'clock this morning for the far southern part of Alabama. And you can see that uh, pretty nasty squall line uh, with uh, a bow there coming through uh, Scambia County and uh, Conecuh County down in South Alabama, a number of severe thunderstorm warnings out for that. And that's pretty much where your warm sector is right now. It's not up here. There's a look at temperatures, and you can see we're still in the upper 40s and low 50s. Those numbers have not budged since last night. We do know, note Montgomery has warmed up to 62 as they are getting in the warmer air down there. But looking at the instability, there's just really no surface-based cape available. Uh, all of the uh, really good instability remains offshore. And those storms over South Alabama are somewhat elevated. So uh, obviously up this way, we don't expect any big severe weather problems. There's the uh, risk area for today. And again, it's uh, south of the line from near Mobile to Montgomery to Roanoke. Uh, and really the higher probabilities are centered over Florida, uh, Orlando, Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, Daytona, Tallahassee, South Georgia, places like Valdosta, and then up the uh, eastern part of the Carolinas. And uh, just very small probabilities here. Now, keep in mind, the surface low is still west of here. And we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll take a look at the uh, action as we go along today pretty carefully. But again, we just expect any severe weather to stay mainly south. Here's the QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days. And this counts the rain that came down last night. This is valid through Sunday evening. So it's through the weekend, 7.6 inches, the bullseye near Panama City. And that heavier rain axis up to about Macon, Georgia, and then up to Greenville, South Carolina. And again, obviously, we've already received over one inch here. We think the storm totals for this part of Alabama will be in the one to two inch range. Now, let's look at modeling. This is the 06E GFS at noon today. There's your trough coming out aloft at 500 millibars. Surface low uh, near Muscle Shoals. So the GFS is adjusting back to where the NAM has been. And uh, again, remember, in that position, that's why there, we think there could be some strong storms up into southeast Alabama, maybe Roanoke, uh, Dadeville, Alexander City, places like that. So we'll be watching the radar trends today. Uh, tomorrow, that surface low is all the way up in New England. And we will be colder. And again, the, uh, the, the GFS has trended not as cold in recent runs. I think we'll, we, we will not get out of the 40s tomorrow with a good north wind. Uh, the cold air will be relatively shallow because we have a southwest flow aloft going on, uh, overrunning, if you will. So the sky should stay mostly cloudy. And then Friday, here comes that next lobe, and you can see the axis there from near Chicago down to about El Paso. And down below that, uh, that should begin to spin up some snow across parts of Texas, the Texas Hill Country, uh, maybe as far north as Abilene or Fort Worth. But uh, places like San Antonio have a crack at getting some snowflakes on Friday. We'll go to uh, Friday night at midnight, and that's the uh, GFS, and it's got uh, 
really the deeper moisture down south, we would be dry if this is right. And then Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, that would seem to be the window for a few snow flurries here. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, the deeper moisture stays down south. Uh, the surface low is beginning to reorganize off the Atlantic coast, the 540 line near Birmingham. Obviously, with something like that, that's no big deal. Let's peek at the NAM. At the very same time, this is 6 o'clock Saturday morning. The NAM is colder, and I think that is better, that, that blue line. It's the freeze line at 5,000 feet, which can be, can be a rain-snow line, and I think that is better. And again, you can see the moisture is pretty skimpy, and that's nothing more than flurries. So, uh, again, nothing exciting there. Uh, the Canadian model, 6 o'clock Saturday morning, this is their uh, GEM, and Again, it's very similar. The uh, critical thickness there, the 540 line is near Montgomery, very close to the NAM. The deeper moisture below that. Uh, raining in Mobile and Dothan, not much here. So no change in our forecast. We'll mention a chance of flurries late Friday night or Saturday morning. And then by uh, midday Saturday, that uh, deep surface low is moving northeast. And again, you can see maybe some hint of a few lingering flurries over east-central Alabama at midday Saturday. And Sunday, the whole thing is gone. Sunday will be a sunny, a cold morning, but the highs go back in the 50s. Now, next week, there's Monday. Here comes the next batch of rain coming at us from the west. Tuesday, uh, looks like we might need to mention a chance of rain uh, late Monday or Tuesday, but the big storm is gathering strength off to the west. Looks like a good snow event there Tuesday of next week, if this is right, for much of Kansas and Missouri. And then we'll go Wednesday, a week from today. Strong shortwave coming at us in the southern stream. And down below that, that looks like another good wet down. No snow there, just a good rain. With the surface slow, again, moving from the Gulf up through South Alabama into North Georgia. Uh, very similar to the system today. And, of course, we can't be too specific this far in advance, but just be aware it looks like a good soaking out there a week from today. And toward the end of the uh, cycle, this is the 14th, another good-looking shortwave. And kind of a split flow, and down below that, another Gulf flow. Boy, this looks like this will be the season for those. And by golly, if those things keep coming at us, you know, at some point there will be some cold air around for something, but not in this case. All the cold air is way up north with that. Uh, but again, looks like a very active and interesting month of December ahead. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And of course, if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.